because every digital dollar will be programmed by the government. That means they will be able to turn on or turn off your money at will. Jim Rickards discusses the impending transition from physical cash to a programmable digital currency, which he calls Biden Bucks. He asserts that this move will grant the government unprecedented control over citizens' finances, allowing them to monitor and manipulate transactions. Rickards warns that this new system, unlike cryptocurrencies, will be government-backed and centralized. He predicts dire consequences for personal freedom, suggesting that dissenters could have their finances restricted or monitored based on their behavior. Rickards also outlines a strategy called asset emancipation to protect one's wealth from government surveillance. He compares the potential impact of Biden bucks to authoritarian regimes like China, where citizens' actions are tightly controlled through digital currency and social credit systems. The cash currency we have now will be replaced with a new programmable digital token. But the truth is, few outside the deep state recognize Biden's move for what it really is. If my predictions are correct, this is so much more sinister than simply replacing the cash dollar with a new digitized version. Friend, this new currency will allow for total control of all American citizens, because every digital dollar will be programmed by the government. That means they will be able to turn on or turn off your money at will. Not only that, but they'll be able to track and record every purchase you make. This is very different than online banking and has nothing to do with crypto. I'll explain everything in a moment. But what you need to know now is AOC has already publicly declared her support for a government-controlled spyware currency. The digital dollar means Dems would be able to punish any contribution, purchase, or even social media comment that they don't like. And this isn't something years away. It's starting now. Biden's secret army has been hard at work, and U.S. trials are already well underway. In fact, our government is racing to catch up. China and Russia have already launched pilot programs for their own digital currencies. More than half the countries in the world and almost 90% of central banks are testing or exploring a digital currency right now. In my opinion, it's not a question of will the U.S. implement a digital dollar. It's just a question of when. And the answer to that is it's already happening. Under Project Lithium and Project Hamilton, the new spyware currency has been quietly tested for several years. There's no stopping it. I predict we'll see a digital dollar in circulation next year or 2024 at the latest. But I do have some good news for you. It's almost too late, but you can still protect your assets and your freedom if you know exactly what to do. In the next 84 seconds, I'm going to outline everything for you. You'll see the ugly proof of their plan. You'll see what this could mean for you and your life savings. I'm also going to show you the only way I trust to protect your money and your freedom from Biden's new surveillance machine. I call it asset emancipation, and it's easy to do and understand. If you choose to take advantage of it, asset emancipation is a way to legally secure and even grow your wealth while hiding it safely away from Democrat surveillance and control. It's a loophole designed to outsmart a new spyware currency while potentially increasing your personal wealth. But you must know exactly how to do it, and that's what I'm going to show you today. I must warn you, some of this will be difficult to watch, but if you care about your money and your freedom, please do not turn away. Thanks to what you'll witness here, you're about to be much more prepared for the coming storm than your neighbors, and that's a very powerful position to be in. Imagine if you were German in 1923 and able to somehow avoid the 29,500% hyperinflation that made their money worthless. Or if you could have opted out of Roosevelt's confiscation of all private gold in 1933. That's the power of asset emancipation, and I'll show you everything right now. Thanks to Section 4 of Biden's Order 14072, ordering urgent research into developing the digital dollar, I believe the U.S. dollar, the standard of the world since 1792, will be replaced by a new currency, the digital dollar. These new electronic currencies are called CBDCs, or Central Bank Digital Currencies. I call the digital dollar Biden Bucks because I want him to take full credit for what I consider to be crimes. This is not like the money in your online bank account. No, this is new and different. Every digital dollar will be a programmable token like Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies, but there's a big difference. Cryptocurrencies are decentralized digital currencies. Instead, if it plays out the way I see it, Biden Bucks will have the full backing of the U.S. Federal Reserve. They will replace the cash, fiat dollar we have now, and will soon be the sole mandatory currency of the United States. When Biden bucks are rolled out, many experts, myself included, believe they will begin an era of total government control and surveillance. This is not hyperbole. 
This would dramatically expand the power and influence of the federal government, essentially acting as a new type of spyware. With Biden bucks, the government will be able to force you to comply with its agenda, because if you don't, they could turn off your money. This won't be like freezing a bank account. It will be so much easier because Biden bucks will be digital tokens programmed at the source. They could be turned on or off at will with just a keystroke, and they could be reprogrammed at any time. With Biden's secret surveillance army running the show, the anti-freedom implications are almost limitless. For example, Biden bucks could be programmed to allow only certain kinds of purchases. Imagine what this new world could look like. You want to keep an internal combustion engine car? Your digital dollars suddenly won't pay for gas. Instead, you can be forced to buy an electric vehicle. That's just the tip of the fascist iceberg. They can force you to get vaccinated. They can force you into solar. They can force you to use less water or heat. They can force you to eat fake plant-based meat. They can control where you are allowed to travel. They can stop you purchasing certain items like guns, ammo, or survival supplies. They can control to which candidates you're allowed to donate. And they'll know every single place you spend your money forever. America would become a surveillance state like China or North Korea. Every single aspect of your life could be controlled because they'll control your money. In fact, I fully expect them to implement a social credit rating system like in China. Say the wrong thing on social media, buy the wrong thing, subscribe to the wrong news channel, give money to the wrong candidate, and your rating drops. Suddenly your Biden bucks are frozen or disappearing from your account. This is already happening in China. There, a low social score gets you officially labeled untrustworthy. They can take away your ability to travel, restrict your internet access,